Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Bart. Scott. And we're coming to you with an M&H Apex Dead Sea Ooh. Edition. Mm, lowest low. place on earth. Ooh, it's low, baby. And salty. Salty. We're going to test it. Dead Sea style. Apparently you float really good. <laughs> All right, we're in. So um, we've been getting a lot of M and H's from well, Israel lately. We well, we had we did one. So this is from we kind of got a, a entered into a new partnership per se with R and J Liquor, sure, right? Uh, here in town, Douglas and Hillside R and J Liquor. Uh, they've got a great world whiskey selection. They're really trying to expand it, which is where we've been picking up a few different bottles. The original M and H that we did, I want to say. Classic, M and H classic, maybe. Milk and honey. Well, at milk yeah. and honey is the distillery. Right, M and H is really. Uh this is the second one we've picked I up think from it them. Is classic. Apex, the way we understand it, just from the, the packaging, is a limit a series of limited editions that they do. So this is the Dead Sea edition of the Apex. And then Apex is they kind of bring merry different casks together to showcase wood and terroir, Ooh, as they terroir. put it on the box. We love terroir. So, 56, 56.2%, still a 750 milliliter bottle, and I think we can get rid of this box. Can't get we? rid of it, and then we're not going to review this one now, but Lady K, a fan, oh. sent us a couple single cast nation bottles, mm -hmm. and I'm just bringing it up because, lo and behold, single malt M&H Distillery Israeli Whiskey. Mm. Lady K, thank you. We'll be coming back later and give that its own review. But yeah. that's how we're dialing in with the M&H. Yeah. So you poured Good. this already. And Go you ahead. just touched on it with that one. I didn't think about it. This is single malt. Single yes. malt whiskey. Good point. Good yeah. point. Uh, I think I got... Now here, give me the ABV reading off of the label. <laughs> now I'm looking here. The ABV... Here. Oh my gosh. 56.2. Oh, you can, oh, you got your glasses on. Barely, yeah, but it's black on it's, a gray. I had to go to the box. Yeah, this is <laughs> fine. This is fine. Quit doing print. this. Quit doing yeah. and do black on gray on an overall light blue, like Dead you, Sea. Yeah, I, I had to I, get it at the right angle. I know all ages of people drink whiskey, right. but I think the majority needs reading glasses at least. Probably, yeah. And at fine least 50%. print percent. At least more than a fifty-one percent of your yes. readers can't read this fine print right. on these, and it's not just M and H. I'm, it's a no, yeah, 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 yeah. There's multiples. You want it big? I think they even need to do one for like the seniors. It says it was bottled on 4 7 to 21. It's three years old. It's what? one of 4,892 bottles, and this is batch 10. So, three years old, but the lowest place on earth, the Dead Sea, also they said average temperatures are 50 degrees Celsius. Wow. Hot. Which is yeah, we what it would Celsius is you double it and like you add 12 or 17 degrees. <laughs> no, so it'd be like 100 average temperatures, like 112, Ooh, 110, 112 degrees, Jeez. somewhere in there. Ah. So now that's going to age whiskey pretty quick. They do have 56.2 real big on the back. Yeah. <laughs> so that's helpful. So, yeah. And oh. Dust, Dustin down at RJ said this. Oh, Dustin. We should like this one. Oh. So I haven't tried it yet. I did open this. We had this poured. I uh, wanted it to get some air, especially at that 56.2%. It's got an interesting it nose. It's a little bit of a dusty, like a dusty oak, but yeah, with a, uh, a creamy... Honey. Yeah, like a creamy honey dust. <laughs> I'm going to say dust again. Dust again. And malty, something else. Malty, honeyed. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a toasted oak. Okay. Almost get like a, not not a, like a, a whiff of smoke blowing through, but maybe it's a jar. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm looking for, there's, there's a fruitiness, but it's not citrusy. It's more apple. Yeah. Pear. Yeah. Maybe. But it's really far in the back. It's strong. Yeah. It'll burn yeah, maybe the maybe a little pear. Burn the nostrils a little bit. Yeah, clean it, clean it out. Let's say apricot. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Really, the toasted oak, honeyed, maltiness was up front. Oh wow! Woo! That is bursting on the open. Goodness, 
effervescent, just kind of whoa. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be my favorite M H <laughs> right here. Uh, this I love their classic, but my goodness, that is something. Yeah, that's a full palate right there. Salty sea salt. Man, I need to come back. But toasted honeys, toasted oak. Cream with cream. oak notes in the finish. Creme brulee, yeah. burnt cream, mm. toasted cream. Yeah, almost like a, a, a the cream of a thick cheesecake. Wow. Little bit, little bit of a citrusy note. Mm. Um, yeah, more... much again like a cheesecake. That citrus that's in yeah. a cheesecake uh -huh. or in a good Gouda cheese. Man. Mm. You don't get a little citrus in your in Gouda? A, in a Gouda? Yeah, in the finish. No. In a smoked so. Gouda. In a smoked Gouda cheese. Mm, I'll yeah. have to look for that. Oh, yeah. I'll get it laid in there. I'll get a little a little cream, a little a little citrus cream cheese taste. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. There could be, I was wondering if there were some sherry casks involved here. There could be, there's a, could be a little bit of a sherry influence. I got it on the second sip. I was looking for it on the first one because we don't know. It just says this is a marriage of exceptional casks. Wow, they are. There could be a very slight hint of a sherry. There is some darker fruits, darker sweetness on the palate. There's a slight peat or a slight smoke. Yeah. Uh, could be char, could yeah, be could peat. Yeah, could be char. I mean, yeah. But man, I get this. As soon as the sip comes in, it like envelops my mouth and... And I almost got a touch of maybe a cherry, but then it yeah. was, and it was just, I want to say effervescence again, because it felt like it was just popping and, and, and exploding. And then as soon as, as soon as we move into the finishes when those creams come in, huh? I don't even want to add water, but I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got to mm. guts to, Hmm. Mm. Very rich, very full. Definitely some smoke on this. Man. Lighter. It's on the finish. On well, mid-palate to the finish. Chucking it. A pop. Look at that. A pop there. It makes you want to inhale. Yeah. Almost like a mint, but it's not... That's not there, but it feels like when you get that clean, crisp mint, that first sip, that's that effervescence I'm talking about. No, I would say mint. Would you? Yeah. Um, what's the, um, the cocktail they use, um, mint and they grind the mint. Julep, in there. mint julep. Well, I think that's a, there is a mint julep, yes. I just grabbed that something. Mint. There's another one. Okay. I just yeah. went with the first mint one. That came <laughs> that's mint good, julep. Good call. Good yeah. Call. Mint that's julep. not the one I'm thinking of though. It's a, it's a clear, it's like, um, I, uh, like vodka seven up and mint or something or yeah, gin, have that. gin and. Got it. Seven up and mint. Put it in the comments. What I've never had it. Of. I've never had it. Man, yeah. this, uh, I wasn't sure what was going to happen here. I thought, because, you know, anytime something's tied in with like a Dead Sea in this case, or a landmark or an ocean, sometimes I feel like it's marketing. But boy, is this interesting. And I can see the high heat being the key component here. That high heat is going to cause a lot of that that movement into the wood of the whiskey. And it's gonna age quick too. Mm. Salted caramel. Mm. Caramel with the coarse sea salt on it. Would you ever think age three years? No, that's what I was gonna, that's what I was gonna ask you next. Yeah. Does this feel three years? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. No. Much older. Yeah. That is really good. I mean, I would be, maybe some of the pop right on the beginning speaks of youth, but it's not the flavor. It's not even a hint of it. It's just that it's lively. I would have thought this was 12 years. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Easy. Me too, at least. Does it say anything uh, about color added or anything? Natural color, no wow. no chill filter. It's a small batch. Yep. Look it's at that. No color added, no chill filter. Yeah. Wow. Non-chill filter. That is spectacular. Holy Oh, um, hmm. fudge and cinnamon getting on this with water could have been there before the water, but it's standing out a little bit more and you can put just a second drop on there. I'll do a second drop too. Um, it's still effervescent. Well, I can see a little bit of chocolate. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's some chocolate in the finish that I'm picking up now. Mm. Almost almost a chocolate or a fudge with like a raspberry drizzle I on it, which that. brings in a little bit of a sherry note to me. Yeah, way back. I get back. that. Way back. Yeah, it's faint. Yeah. But mm. it makes me think a little bit, maybe one out of a hundred casks was sherry. So. All right. Which I wouldn't even be a hundred casks. How many bottles was it? Did you say 4,600 or something like that? Mm. Um. Well, you could be looking at. 4,892. 20, maybe 20 casks were used in this. One of them could have been a sherry cask. I think we got to keep the uh, M and H clan together. <laughs> they got to stick mm. together. The classic mm. has this bumblebee, uh, the, the, the bowl mm. looks like a bumblebee. That is I'm, liking, something. I'm liking this one with water. It's actually opening up, really expanding on the palate. Mm. I think the smoke is even showing a little bit more, but that's bringing out the, that fudge and Knowing Raspberry. this was coming, knowing that you'd pick this up, I'd been hitting that M and H that's oh. down in my office. I've kept yeah. it on a shelf, but I've been hitting it and I stopped because I wanted to make sure we had some to compare. I can see it's doing like a now what's the how old is the single cask nation? Uh that's a great say. question. Three years. Three years old, old as well. And it's fifty eight point nine. Fifty eight, so pretty close to this one. Yeah. So um, But that's also a single cask where one, this one was a marriage of casks and Yeah, one of two hundred and twenty five bottles. So All right. Yep. Maybe um we'll come to that late. Score Lady K, Lady K. Uh ninety one. I'm loving this. I'm right there Very with ninety one. Yep. I like it too. Uh, if there was a little bit more sherry punch on this one, it'd be a little bit higher. I like my sherry. Oh, and I just see it is kosher certified as well. Hmm. It's just, I, I wasn't sure what to expect. And boy, that, that open and then moving into that. I, I like the finish better neat. I got a lot of, I love cheesecake. I love that good, creamy, regular cheesecake, New York style. And I felt like I got a touch of that citrus cream cheese. Now, this is interesting that we've never seen before on a bottle. Hmm. What's that? Aged in kosher le, le, mahad, mahadran casks. Hmm. Le, le mahadran. Hmm. I don't know how to say it. Huh. That's cool. Probably a style of mm -hmm. a cask, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But, yeah, very tasty, very good. Uh, price, $120. Ooh, that's a little pricey, but... Worth it. Boy, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> that yep. is good. I, I would still say get this because it's a very unique. Over almost 10 years, we've tried so many whiskeys. Um, I, I'm a firm believer, which is why we're pretty rough scores, that almost all whiskeys are good. That's why we started 80%. But boy, when we run across something that we both agree on, that's a, a an excellent, great whiskey, mm -hmm. worth the Ooh. price, worth trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. good. All right. We got a Patreon shout out to do. A new $3 supporter came Ooh, in. Oh, yeah. Corrine. Yes. We're going to shout it. Corrine. Ready? Corrine Egloff. Woo. Now, Corrine got a shout out because she was above the $2 realm. Well, $2 gets and, a shout out. Right. They get a shout out. $3. And $3, you can send in a picture. You get a shout out and you can send in a picture to right. use. We just ask that you cover the pickle. Some people take advantage of that. Some, some don't. don't. Corrine, Corrine did send in a picture. Yeah, so right now, but popping up on the screen. She wanted to use a picture of her whiskey collection. Right. Um, and I think she says uh, in one of the communications that, you know, she's she's newer. Or yeah, she she's just kind of get modest. It looks modest. like a great shelf. It looks like 40 to 50 bottles right. here, four shelves. A lot of peat there. A lot of peated whiskeys. There's some Ooh, Irish whiskey in she's there. She's got hard bags sitting in there. Hard bags, log of woods, at the bottom. Yeah, I love the talisker. Yeah. Um, she had the, what, the... Uh, she oh what's the what's the young art bag? Is it the five oh, year wee we with the wee beastie she had? Yeah, mm, it's good. good job. You and I picture she's she's uh, I don't know if she wants us to say exactly where she's at, but she's in a uh, in an area that would be picturesque in and what I believe Why not? during Christmas. Why couldn't we say I don't know. Some people don't want us was, put now. What really? Some maybe they want We've their people, anonymity. We've had people request not to. If Sweden? well, we could we could not Sweden. No. Oh. But that's all right. I don't think it was. Now I feel like I feel like it was oh. another similar country. But now your memory's better you told than me. mine. Yeah, your memory's better than mine. So <laughs> maybe it is. If it's Sweden, I love Sweden. If it's Switzerland, I know that's very far away, but I love Switzerland as well. 
So I picture yeah. snow and, and bliss during Christmas. Go to Scotch Test Dummies. Let's just stop that right there before you do more impersonations. <laughs> Go to ScotchTestDummies.com. You can pick up coins, glasses, shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. It helps support the show. It keeps the lights on. Keeps the whiskey flowing. This was purchased with Patreon funds. Well, you can go to Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies, at which place you can find us. And you can support for as little as a dollar a video or dollar a month, or you can move it up or down anywhere you like. So thank you. Mm. And Ooh. it is good. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Slaunch Dummies. Dummies.